Good morning, it's Clay Trader at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they unfold live. Market opens up here any second now, so I will keep you updated. Let's see what happens. All right, looking to pick up 500 shares at 79.37 here on WBA on this current pullback here. Also have an order out for uh, LULU. Let's see if it can break down through the 79.50 mark. So got the breakdown through there. Let's see if it can get down to 37. Okay, making a move there. Okay. Got those 500 shares for my additional or for my initial entry, I should say. We'll look to make a quick $50, or if it wants to allow me to uh, build some more, then I will gladly do that. So let's see what happens here on the current pull. Well, I guess it's just going to give me that $50. So got the quick 50. Let's see what else I can find. All right, looking to pick up 500 shares here of LULU 5837 for my introductory order. We'll see if it can get down there or not. If you're unfamiliar with my screen, my orders are just down in this portion of the box. So you can see there's my order sitting out there right now. All right, I will pause it. I was thinking it might have uh, be getting ready to make a move down there, but it's kind of just hovering around this area, so I will keep you updated. All right, looking to get 500 shares here short at 35.95. Still a ways to go, uh, but SCSS is a very quick mover. So I figured I'd get the video rolling here to at least document that my order is out there. Whether or not I capture it on video remains to be seen, but... I'll do my best, but as you can see, if you're watching the level two, it's a very fast mover. So I will, like I said, I'll do my best to capture the entry point live. I'm sure as soon as I pause it, this thing's gonna shoot right up there and fill me and I'll miss the entry, but I'll try. All right, trying to make a move here. Getting somewhat close. I'd like to get more than the 500, but I'll just start off here. Okay. Let's see if it can fill me. Nope. All right. Well, it got up as high as 35.95, so it hit that. I just think it. All right. Now I'm in. So I will go for a quick $50. Let me just double check this order before I put it in. Going to put another 500 up there at 36.25. Let's see if I can get those or not. Just kind of hovering around here a little bit. Got down somewhere, you know, right around that 3585 exit point, but didn't quite fill me. Let's see if I can get those up there at 36.25 for another 500. All right, I'm gonna pause it as this one's not exactly the fastest mover. It's fast, but it's not fast. As you can see, it kind of just, all right, I'll keep it going here. It looks like I may get the $50 bill. And that fast, it's back up to where it was. So yeah, this is a weird one. It's fast, but it's not fast from a video recording perspective. It kind of just pauses for a little bit and doesn't do much. So I will pause it for the time being. Oh, uh, did I catch it? I don't know. Anyways, I got the $50 bill. Um, I think in, I maybe caught it right when I got the video recording, but it was, it jumped down there super fast. So another $50 bill. Let's see what else I can find. Again, real quick, just to document uh, that there is an order out there. Again, whether or not I catch it, but want to at least get it out there. Do have a new order out there at 36.45 to go short. So we'll see if I can capture that 
on video or not, but there is a fishing order currently out there. All right, have an order at 36.65, not through 36.50, but as you know, because I've repeated it about 30 million times, this is a fast mover. So it was up there, now it's pulled back, but do have in fishing order 36.65. All right, well, this will just kind of be a, a very blah type video. Uh, I don't really want feel like posting it, but whatever. I hit the record button, so I am posting it uh, because it is what it is, and I don't want to come across as ungrateful. You know, 100 bucks in uh, about an hour. Yeah, that's still a good payday, but yeah, um, not exactly a, a, as good as what it can be, but I, I suppose I could always lose money. And, you know, if you've watched past videos and you've seen, uh, you know, some mornings where I'm making $400 in a matter of 15 minutes, for example, here, uh, I'm now over an hour into the day. Uh, it's 10.38 a.m. and only up $100. Again, don't want to come across as ungrateful or anything. I mean, $100 in this amount of time, uh, you know, not too many professions pay that. But uh, it is what it is, and that's just how some mornings unfold. Sometimes you just got to pick up those $50 bills and not many other opportunities present themselves. Or if they do, uh, you're just uh, you're just wrong and you don't put it in the right entry point, which you know, happens all the time uh, where you're maybe just off a little bit on an entry point, but that's just part of being a trader. So yeah, I realize this is kind of a, a pretty mild video, but whatever, I'm posting it because that's just how it is. That's the, the and that's the whole point of this live trading video series, just to show uh, the many different ranges of uh, how things can unfold. So before I go though, if you enjoyed this video, um, maybe just watch videos as a whole because this one I, I'll, I'll admit, not the best, but anyways, if you want me to keep making these live videos and you enjoy the live trader video series, I think there's like 300 videos now, but uh, easy way to easiest way to communicate that to me, just click that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in trading alongside me and other traders, I do offer a chat room, so you can just go to claytrader.com for that. And also if you're interested in learning how to use charts to trade, I have training courses on that again at claytrader.com. So uh, thank you for watching, and I realize boring video, but sometimes boring type mornings, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Not every, not every single morning, despite what others may portray, can be you know huge gains, huge gains in quick amounts of time. The good news is, though, uh, that I still have uh, multiple hours left, although I probably won't do much more trading. I have a couple podcast interviews that I have to do, so I guess on that note, I do have a podcast, so you can, again, claytrader.com, you can learn more about that. But I have one that's starting here in about 20 minutes, so got to go and get ready for that. So thank you again for watching. I will see you back next week. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now, and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, 